Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create some simple conditional formatting to a gallery. So you can see I have three columns, state, city, and number of employees. I set up conditional formatting so that it looks at the number of employees. If the number of employees is higher than 600, it turns the fill color to green. If it's less than 600, it turns the fill color to red. So if you'd like to know how I set this up, stay tuned. So I'm going to create a new Canvas app. Tablet format. Let's change the background of the screen. First thing we're going to do is connect to the data source. I have a SharePoint list called population. Here it is. It contains 10 records with states, number of employees, and the city. So after I've connected to do my data source, which is called population, I'm going to insert a gallery. I like to use the blank vertical gallery. Population. Now inside of the gallery, I'm going to add a text input. I'm going to select the text input. Let's change it to state. I'm going to copy the text input and add another one. This will be for the city. Copy it one more time. This will be for number of employees. Let's decrease the space. So we have our 10 records. Let's add three labels for the header. So this would be state. Just copy this label. I'm 
Change this to city. Change this to number of employees. Now we're ready to create our conditional formatting. So I'm going to select the first row in the gallery. Sometimes it's hard to select it. All right, so I have the first row selected. So this control here is called text put one underscore two. If I go to the fill properties, right now it's set to, the fill is set to white, a white background for all of the records. So I'm going to create an if statement So if you look at the if statement, it's looking at that control, making sure that it's a value. And if it's, it's checking to see if the value in the control is greater than 600. If it is, it's going to change the fill color to green. If it's not, it's going to change the fill color to red. Zoom back out. So there we have it. Now if we change the conditional formatting, let's say we want to change it from 600 to 400. Notice that it will change based on the formula that we have. And we only have to change the first record of the gallery. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next video.